everybody, my name is Jagos, and today I'm going to tell you a story of my past. Alright, All right, I'm going to tell you a story, and yes, it has been a while. I have to, I'm going to tell you a story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the story is... Doorbell ditching with my friend Damien. Yeah. Me and him caused mischief in our neighborhood. We were like, and then along with Abraham, us three were like the three stooges. Um, so, uh, Abraham didn't want to join along. Wimp. Anyways, me and Damien, we. We're doorbell ditching, you know, having a great time. <laughs> Ding dong. Oh. You know, but, uh, <laughs> just had to go to this house, you know. It looks like it's, you know, every, uh, looks like someone's there, you know. Mm, you know, so he goes like, all right, I'm going to go over there. You go and read the doorbell. I'm like, okay, okay. So I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever, right? I, I can use the exercise. And I'm, uh, uh, sorry, someone disturbed me. I, um, uh, I go up. You know those lights that have the, uh, uh, it's the, uh, motion sensor, so every time you walk by it, it's like, blink! Yeah, yeah, you know one of those? Yeah, it turns on, so I got scared. I was like, whoa, oh yeah, grandma, is that you? No, no. But, uh, <laughs> I decided to go, uh, so I'm like, okay, I'll keep going. Go up, I walk up the stairs, and I, uh, ding, dong, pew, you booked it, gone, disappeared, like no one had, like no one was there, okay? Then, uh, you know, so me and Damien were hiding across the street in the grass, and since it's dark outside, and we're both warm and black, we we're like, we were all like, Phew. we just hide in the grass, you know. So, so no one could see us. We're like, yeah, we're good, right? And uh, we sat there five minutes. <sighs> Nothing's happening. So we're like, what a disappointment. So we're like, all right, let's go. Let's call it a night, you know. Let's. Go back to Abe's, maybe play some video games, you know? So we get up, you know, start walking towards this place. I turn around. The garage door is all the way open. And you didn't even hear the... No, it's... And there it is. The old lady standing there in a black leather jacket. Pink sweatpants and a shotgun. Oh yeah, a shotgun. You're gonna die, sonny. I told Damien, don't look back and don't run. Just act casual. Pretend we're looking for Abraham like it's dark outside and uh hide and go seek in the dark, you know. She's going around and uh then she starts coming towards us. And I'm all like, okay, buddy, now is the time to book for it. We we'll look at it, and she just goes, <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we ran. I've never ran so fast in my life. Just <laughs> she chased us for a block or two, okay, around the neighborhood. Okay, so then me and me and are like, okay, we, we can't run anymore. We gotta hide. We go into this military guy's yard and we just hide in his bushes. Oh, oh, we're stupid. Okay, so we sit there and we see this old lady just walk by. Just, well, like. She's right there. 
walks by, sat there for 10 minutes, just... After the 10 minutes go by, we realize that we're safe. Uh, so we get out, and we go back uh, to Abe's. And the thing is, since we're so freaked out, we go straight into his house without knocking, and through his back door, too, where his kitchen is. And he's home alone, and he's in the kitchen. And I run in, and he grabs a knife. A knife! And he... I could have died. But he stopped. Thank you. Thank you. So, then, uh, we explain to Abraham why. And he's freaking out, and he's like, why would you do that? You don't just, hello, or through the house, you know? Just don't do that, you gotta knock. Even in a zombie apocalypse, you gotta knock. We're like, okay, man, he goes, okay, let's play some zombies. All right, so that's the end of that story. It was scary. It was fun. Never doing it again. I have a doorbell ditch since because it's so scary. I mean, she just came out. Just, poof. I swear she was, it. she's like 90 or something, man. She just booked it. I don't know. I could have been on the track team. I would have, I would have ran. I was like. I don't know who this Hagen cowboy is or whatever. Sorry. But I could have ran 27 miles for that um, cross country or whatever it is thing. Done it five minutes, man. I was fast. I was, you know, she was fast too.